Recent report, experts discussed the necessity for the Royal Navy to expand and modernize its submarine fleet to maintain its strategic edge. The report, A More Lethal Royal Navy, Sharpening Britain's Naval Power by William Freer and Dr. Emma Salisbury, outlines the current state of the Royal Navy's submarine fleet and provides key recommendations to enhance its capabilities. Nuclear Attack Submarines SSNs, are designed for anti-submarine warfare ASW, anti-surface warfare, and carrying cruise missiles to attack land targets. Modern SSNs are known for their stealth, running quietly and remaining submerged for extended periods without surfacing. The report highlights the strategic importance of regular submarine patrols. Regular submarine patrols contribute considerably to deterrence, as an adversary fleet cannot be sure of its ability to operate unchallenged within a patrolled area. This was exemplified during the Falklands War when the entire Argentine fleet returned to port following the sinking of the light cruiser General Belgrano by HMS Conqueror, an SSN. The Royal Navy's SSN fleet currently consists of five Astute-class submarines, with two more expected, and one Trafalgar-class submarine, which has been upgraded to extend its service life through to 2025. Both classes are equipped with Tomahawk Block IV land attack cruise missiles and Spearfish heavy torpedoes. The report notes, the Tomahawks will be upgraded to the Block V version over the next couple of years to extend their striking range and provide more dynamic targeting capabilities. The Astute class will be replaced by a new class of SSNs under the AUKUS program, a collaborative effort with Australia and the United States. The exact number of SSN AUKUS submarines for the Royal Navy has not been finalized with suggestions ranging from 7 to 12. Dot additional Dreadnought-class submarine the report recommends procuring at least one additional Dreadnought-class submarine to mitigate potential delays in the AUKUS program. This fifth vessel can be operated as a conventionally armed nuclear-powered attack submarine, SSGN, designed to carry a large payload of strike missiles, the report states. This would enhance the Royal Navy's conventionally armed submarine force and provide a backup for the SSBN fleet. Increase SS and AUKUS fleet, the report urges the Royal Navy to order 12 SS and AUKUS submarines. Order 12 SS and AUKUS boats and ensure their design has significant land attack and anti-ship missile capability, including vertical launching systems, VLS, it recommends. The integration of VLS would amplify the firepower of British submarines, enabling them to launch a greater number of strikes and potentially serve as a platform for future hypersonic cruise missiles, HCMs.